Hello, folks. I have a session here for a target that I recently completed. I'm not going to tell you who asked me to do this because he asked to remain anonymous for various reasons. But the target was this here. This is um, the tomb of Tutankhamun in Egypt, of course. And the, the notion here is that um, there may be some secret chambers here inside of the um, burial chamber of Tutankhamun behind some walls. Now, there are some people that, uh, right here, high-tech radar may have just led researchers to discover Nefertiti's secret burial chamber in King Tut's tomb. That was the target. The target was if there's something to this. Let's see if I could if I could remote view again. I'm blind, completely blind. That there was uh, an additional um, set of chambers here uh, that could possibly be Nefertiti's tomb. Very cool, man. Very cool. Let me go over some of the stuff here. It's a very long session. And I haven't gone over all of it yet. Um, so it'll be kind of... Let's see what's in here. Some of this stuff I'm not sure how it relates. So let me... Um, target, is the target a person who's lost? Feeling that I'm trying to kind of get on here. I want to go somewhere else. But what else is interesting here? What's bringing us together? I'm trying to get on target. Circumstances is a series of events. Again, here I am trying, I'm working hard, uh, diligently to get on to something that is triggering my curiosity. What do I got here? Uh, let's see. There is an unanswered set of questions here. Is there a, an unanswered set of questions? Is this the tasking, I'm wondering? Okay, how is the answer formulated? Okay, I want the answer then. If there's a question, um, if this, if the tasking is uh, to answer something um, that is unknown, then what is it? What's the fundamental answer? Several parts, avenues, elements, multiple factors to whatever it is. What does this mean when we're a complex target? It's a complex answer to solve. How to approach, how to approach this problem. Is there one answer I'm, I'm asking? Is there someone related to this target who could provide a clue? I want to go find somebody who could give me some insights as to what is going on. What is the answer? I'm wondering what are the clues? Again, I'm um, stimulating my curiosity here. All right. Uh, move to and describe the clue what do i need to do to comprehend this this target go to a time when this target was most perceivable most comprehensible and most available at its conception so i want to go back go wherever i needed to go to when it was most perceivable i'm at a time when someone is about to construct something Construct something, a beginning part. There's only this this one. What is this person conceiving, though? I'm wondering. Putting something together. Putting what together? Building something. Building what, though? Something is being built. Putting something together. What is it for? It feels technological. AOL of Leonardo da Vinci. But why build it, I question, because again, I need to stimulate my curiosity. This person is working alone on this. What is their goal? 
It's like the building and development of a piece of technology or building something. But building what and for what? With all due respect, this person requires respect and privacy and confidentiality. Would someone build something for no one else to know of? What an interesting question in regards to what the target is. Why build it at all? What can be shared? What knowledge? It's private. Private to whom do I want to? Small group of individuals. Small group of individuals. Is it this high-tech radar people? Or somebody else who knows about this chamber? Why them, I wonder? They are working together, working on what and for what, though, I wonder. A small group of people doing something. But doing what? Developing something. AOL vaccine. <coughs> when I did this, this thing was being put out. Small group developing a technology or building something. Again, this might be these guys here. I think it is. And here's why I say that. Uh, a small group of people, they have a technology, they're trying to f locate something. And there's a small people, group of people doing it. Small group developing a technology or building something. So it's like, I think I was crossing back and forth between the building of these, well, if, this, if these are there, the building of these chambers and the, um, these, this high-tech uh, radar research group who is over there um, doing their, utilizing their technology to, to see if they can locate these empty pockets here. So I think those things were, were kind of mix, mixing in my mind, old and new. Uh, and there's element, there's one guy, others are waiting. What would the others do with this once it is complete? A tight, small, tight-knit group of men. Maybe they're working on something privately. What's their intention? Be careful. Is it dangerous? To who and why? It's very private. Like a private club. This is not private now. It was at that time. What did this small group plan to do? What would a, what would a small society do? Benefit themselves? Like building a Frankenstein monster? This is secretive. Can I go here and maintain my integrity? That's what I was... That's what I was asking, asking myself that. Do I want to go and spy on these on this group? I have to maintain my integrity. Move to a time when this is less private. What is it about? So I wanted to I wanted to maintain myself here. There is still a mystery. This thing it was built and nobody knows why. Oh really? It was built and nobody knows why. Really? It goes back, it goes back to the small society, like something that should not have been made. They're saying these should not even be there. Possibly illegal at the time, taboo subject. Had to keep had to be kept secret. Can I have access to this secret though? I'm wondering. Does it need to be told, explained, and justified? Is it the people involved? Can I negotiate? I'm wondering. What can I tell? How much? It's private, but for how long? Does, a story, does the story need to be told? If this is Nefertiti's tomb, I'd say it probably needs to be told. Shouldn't the closed book be allowed to be opened, accessed freely? What is this about? I'm wondering. Life-changing life how? Distance. Kilometers, distance to what? It is a location to something. What is the location? The area feels wide and it's underground. Is something to be found here? Specific location. Let's see if I can match these guys up. Here. This and the, this. Is this a finding thing? That's my question. Is this a finding? Am I trying to find something? A location? Like a finding mission. What is here? I'm wearing a mosque. It's built in Middle East and Egypt. Structure here. What does this place have to do with this target, though, I wonder? 
This feels like a journey to find the clues. What is here, though, I wonder? A symbol in a book? What is it? So there was this Egyptian-like symbol. Is it technological, I'm wondering? There's a lot to this story. People going after something, using whatever means they deem possible, even bribery, to attain something, acquire something. And I saw this place here, these pillars in this entrance. A museum type place. Something is or was here. Was it stolen though? I'm wondering. I'm wondering maybe maybe something from here is is uh, being held in a, in a museum or something, maybe in Egypt. That that is proof that that, that exists and they're, and they're hiding it. Like something priceless or very valuable, a part of this story. I just this states it or a sound haba. Haba, H sound, ha. That's Egyptian ha. Mastering science, technology, but for what? What can I learn from this I'm wondering? Again, I'm trying to stimulate my curiosity. What is here for me? Knowledge? What about what? Go back into the target here. Objects that feels like it's bronze or metal. Feels like something mechanical or a, a metal object. Why was it made, though, I'm wondering, for what? To do what? Navigation, astronomy, and travel, distance, like a compass? Bronze and or other metal objects, a place with objects. I can only imagine what would be in there. Man, what a find. Wow. I hope they find it. Someone is about to construct something. What do they have in mind? How are they going to do it? Do they have what they need to build it? A tabernacle. What is a tabernacle, though, I wonder? A display, a showcase, metal, gold, alloys, an elaborate display of finely molded metals, various colors, religious and or cultural images and symbols. A tabernacle with something being constructed inside of it. Inside the tabernacle, I'm wondering? Bingo. Bingo. That's where I felt it. What is going on inside here? What the hell is going on inside here? There's a very interesting feel inside of here. There's a sense here that reminds me of communion. Taking communion. This could be part of a religious rite or a preparation prior to doing something. Maybe uh, the, the rituals of uh, de uh, death rituals or moving into the afterlife, maybe. Uh, consecration, a cleansing process. What are they doing that would require a cleansing process, though, I'm wondering? That's a good question. Very religious feel. In order to work on and or construct this object, they go through a purification process so that they can feel worthy and spiritually inspired. Oh, man, I can... The ancient Egyptian ways. The ancient Egyptian ways. To tap into that which is trying to communicate. To construct things that reflect that communication. What is the communication, though, I'm wondering? There are symbols representing the concepts. A language like Hebrew or Egyptian, symbolic forms. And then I drew this. This was like a, uh, like uh, looking at the feedback, like if there were a ritual going on in, in these chambers prior to the body being brought in and all that, that's kind of what this would be. Uh, the space inside here is rather tight. It felt very tight fitting. He is putting his hand on one of the objects here. Look at this and use this like an, like an altar here. Oh yeah, this reminds me of an altar with objects on it. What is the significance of the objects though? I'm wondering. What is so important to this guy here? What is, what is this object? He seems willing to share information about it. Hmm. What would you like to share? 
question. Its meaning, what is it? A codex, instructions, a manual, but for what? Language patterns with hieroglyphs on them. A name or, spe or something specific. These are objects inside of an ornate box like gifts. Agara. This is in Saqqara. And I, and I was getting the sound of Agara. Agara. I wonder if they, had a, if they used a different uh, uh, um, dialect for it in Egypt. Maybe. Uh, this is inside the tabernacle, and there's gold and these kinds of things. I would like to have one of these, whatever that is. I'd like to have one. A spiritual or religious practice, ornaments for a shrine, affiliated objects. Affiliated to what, though? I'm wondering religious practices? The people using this, or these objects, for religious purposes, are they the originators of these objects? So I wanted to know, the people that have these, are they the originators? Are they? Or are they worshipping these objects? This is a good question. The people using these objects for religious purposes, are they the originators? Or are they worshipping them? That's what I wanted to know. More like an attempt to replicate something or recreate something. I can only imagine what would be in there, man. Oh my god, just, oh wow. Who or what are the originators of this I'm warning? Ancient people who had an understanding of specific mechanics. Someone at that time had a great mind. Who was that person, though, I wonder? Reminded me of like a Mayan person with the dark skin. Reminds me of like a Tolmec or South American. Someone with that kind of dark skin person. An understanding of mechanics, even machinery. How things fit together and move together. I can only imagine the people who constructed this, this whole thing, looked like this person. The understanding of how things fit and work together. Why did he build this? What was he trying to do? Build a working machine? There is the idea of water harnessing energy, momentum, a spinning apparatus. Principles based on elemental power and energy, water, wind, etc. This is a stage seven, this, this is like somebody speaking that I could hear. How can I build something to generate movement? That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Like the concept, the concept of machinery. I can see the engineering formulations in this person's mind. Concepts of moving parts. It's like the age of engineering begins. The mind the mindset that things can be conceived and built and run. And this was this person with black hair and with blonde haircut, dark complected, like the, the people who built these, these places back in, in the ancient days of Egypt. A machine builder didn't call it machine though. This was another stage seven, it's not Hatta, or another, again, Asan, Hatta. Practical-minded individual fitting parts makes sense to him. That's interesting. He's an interesting well. He's an interesting person. Highly regarded from a lineage of builders, stonemasons, and woodcrafters, metal forgers. He's like the Leo Leonardo da Vinci of his time. Something of his was buried and found, uncovered and revealed. Well, that's interesting. I wonder. If that is the case, maybe they did find something and it's, and it's giving them a clue that this place exists. Like a treasure in a chest causes wonderment, fine-tuned, all but impossible to someone who believes modern man is superior. This is some object here with colors on it for calculating calculations and navigations, planet movements, and all those kinds of calculations. Some things just get buried, and then they are found again. 
Okay. Some things just get buried and then they are found again. But what else is buried? Tabernacle? This keeps coming into my mind. The tabernacle here. An altar. Pieces and parts. Displays of objects. Some with no history connected to them. Who, wait, wait. Some with no history connected to them who have it. Is there an... I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Some talking about the pieces, the pieces of something. Well, maybe the object. Is there another piece I'm wondering? A part. The other half of something. The other half of something. Like the other half of this burial chamber, maybe? The other half for something to work. Some pieces are gone and will not be found again. The idea of the search is acknowledged. What happened to the other piece? Lost in a disruptive event, possibly catastrophic, either a natural disaster or by the overtaking of land by another, by another culture, changing hands. Is it possible to reunite them? Is it possible to reunite them? King Tut and Nefertiti, maybe? Wow, how about that? Wow, what a night. What a notion. The endeavor is enormous. There are cultural obstacles, permissions to search obstacles, which is very true. Very true. They're having a lot of problems from what I hear. They're having a lot of problems getting uh, the, the Egyptian government to allow for this to take place. I was told that. There are cultural obstacles, permissions to search obstacles. But search for what, though? Does this fit into something? A fitted piece? Part of the mechanism? A piece of the mechanical device? It would be nice to have the entire mechanism together. So I'm looking, I'm looking at this. And I'm looking at this. This, this, these chambers with these additional rooms on here, like that, and that was that was it. These different, these additional parts that that fit in here. So that was it. That was a target that I recently completed. The hopefully soon to be found missing. Burial chamber of one Nefertiti. Very cool. Very cool. From what is my assessment uh, after the session? After doing all this, I'd say it would be summed up right here. Some things just get buried and then they are found again. I'm going to leave it with that. I wish those guys luck, and I hope that they get permission to search. So that's it for this one. I hope you found it interesting. I enjoyed the, the, the sessions myself, and many more to come.